Hello and welcome to the complete guide to DSTE, Digital Speech Decoder. Since you're here, I'm assuming you want to decode and listen to digital voice using a scanner. There are a few things you'll need before you can start. Firstly, a scanner with a discriminator tap modification done. Normally the audio from a scanner's 3.5mm audio out socket is filtered to make it sound better to listen to. Modifying your scanner to give it a discriminator tap will allow you to take the audio before it's filtered and to send the raw signal to be decoded by your computer. The filtering in the scanner would normally round off sharp edges which are needed in digital to show transitions between on and off in the binary data. There's an excellent website called discriminator.nl which has guides on how to do the modification on most scanners. The next thing you'll need is a reasonably fast computer. A 10 year old laptop probably won't cut it. I'd recommend using a dual core running at 2 GHz or more, but you can get away with slightly less than that. The third thing you will need is a digital voice signal to listen to. This may seem pretty obvious, but there is one important thing I need to mention. It cannot be encrypted. If the signal is encrypted, DSD will not decode it even if you have the key. DSD was programmed not to decode any encrypted comms in order to avoid legal issues. And lastly, you'll need DSD. I'll put a link in the description to the download site, that's link 1, and this will give you the DSD file only. You'll need cygwin.dll2, which you can download from link to in the description. Alternatively, you can go to the CYGWIN website, that's link 3, and install it to get the DLL which you'll find in the folder it installs to. Link 2 is obviously the easier method, but if this isn't available then link 3 will always work. So, the first thing you'll need to do with your modified scanner is to plug it into the computer Turn it on and adjust the audio levels. Tune to a digital voice signal and set the levels so that it is about 60 to 70 percent of the way up the volume slider. While you're in here, set this as the default audio device as well. Now, double click to open DSD. <laughs> and it will automatically try to detect the type of digital voice you're trying to decode. Here, I'm trying to decode DMR, but the signal is inverted, so I have to make a back file with the XR option, which I found in the README, so that DSD knows to use inverted. DSD cannot detect certain modes, and inverted DMR is one of them. There aren't many other digital systems in my area, so I can't demonstrate P25 or Nextgen, but they all use the same principle. If DSD doesn't start decoding the mode automatically, go into the README and check which option you need to use for that mode, then make a bat file to accommodate for it. As you can see here, DSD is decoding properly now that I've made the correct bat file for the mode. Now I'm going to show a quick sample of what it should look and sound like when you're decoding DMR and the settings used. So here is the bat file I use. FF tells DSD to apply the filter. XR tells it to decode inverted DMR. And MG tells it to decode with a modulation of GFSK. Remember all of these settings can be found in the README file. And here is a quick sample of some decoded DMR. Sorry, mate, can you repeat that again? Okay, make sure the perimeter away. The road going down to a 79 is blocked off hardcore in the area. Yeah, seven and nine's blocked off you. I think you dropped it off earlier. I can't do that. 
Sometimes you will see a channel showing idle slot continuously. This does not mean you have set up anything wrong, it just means that nobody is currently using the radio. You can actually tell when somebody is talking by the sound of the undercoded digital audio because it sounds slightly different. I'll now play two recordings. The first is slot idle messages and the second is someone talking. See if you can hear the difference. Both of those recordings were of DMR through a repeater. DMR heard in simplex or on the repeater input channel sounds very different. It sounds like what I would describe as a choppy noise, maybe like a helicopter. This is because the signal is constantly going on and off because it uses only half of the time on the channel. I'll play a sample in a moment. DSD can also decode this but often does not do it as well as when the audio is going through a repeater. This is what it sounds like. And here is a quick sample of DMR in simplex being decoded. Can you raise Greyhound please? Raise Greyhound Barrier, please. Go on the lunch, mandatory. Air to control, can you raise Williams, please? Air to control, can you raise Williams? Okay, control, can I have uh, Williams control, and can you lift the barrier, please? So. I think I've covered everything you'll need to know about decoding with DSD, but if there are any more questions, please post in the comments and I'll try to help. If there are enough things I've missed out, I may make a part 2 of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you.